Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Johnny Fraze. This is a follow-up video for the Arcade 1UP first impressions video I had made uh, a couple months back when I first got the cab. And as you recall, I really wasn't feeling the quality of the parts. So what I had done is just created a whole new control panel from scratch. It's laser cut from MDF and acrylic. I used all high quality Sanwa parts for the buttons and joysticks. And I made sure to lay it out very ergonomically in the uh, Japanese style. Also on the front panel, I installed two Nutrik USB ports you can connect like a keyboard or additional game pads if you wanted to play on pad versus the sticks. Now as far as under the hood, I basically followed ETA Prime's great tutorial. The link will be in the description. It's an HDMI board um, that can accept the Raspberry Pi's output. And then you'll also see a audio amp right over here to boost the signal to the speaker. And uh, as far as power goes, it just kind of goes down to a surge protector. For software, I use Recall Box. I know another popular choice is RetroPie. For me, I had just been curating an awesome collection um, for a couple of years now. It's about 64 gigs right now. And as you can see, I'm just going through some of my favorites. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering how much did this mod cost. Um, just roughly speaking, I've definitely spent more than the cab was worth, and I paid for it retail, about $300 retail, because I did order it uh, when it first came out. But it does expand the versatility of the machine itself, especially with the Raspberry Pi mod. To help you guys out, I'm going to be providing a link in the description to the Photoshop file for the graphics and a vector file for you guys to go get this laser cut on your own. All right, guys, hopefully this inspires you to go ahead and mod your arcade one-up machine. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Peace.